Okay, um, I didn't record a video yesterday, so I'm doing it today. Uh, I got a good suggestion from my good internet pal, Alex, um, about my eyebrows. I haven't done anything about them, obviously, as you can see, but they are filling in on their own slowly. But, yes, I will definitely have to start penciling them in. Um, I need a tip on an eyebrow pencil, though, because I have no idea about any of that stuff. Um, I was going to use eyeliner, but the eyeliner that I have is waterproof, and it's really, really hard to get off. Like, if you watch my videos from a few days back, um, like, I had eyeliner on one day last week, and it didn't come off for, like, four days. Yeah, I need to get some eye makeup remover, too, though, so... I don't know, my hair, why is my hair fucked up? I don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to organize my thoughts on end of semester stuff because I have so much to do. Uh, one, I have my trees uh, booklet to do. I had to collect 50 to 55 leaves over the semester while they were still on the trees. And um, I have to dry, I have to press them so that they're dried, they have to be in good condition, they have to be pasted to white paper that has a label on it, it has to include a table of contents that's detailed with both common and Latin names, um, and include a cover sheet and like a back sheet or something weird like that. That, I just need to get on pressing my leaves because I don't have them pressed yet. I was lucky yesterday and I found, um, if any of you know about my MySpace account, my display name right now is Homomalous Virginiana, which is the leaf that I found yesterday. It was still perfectly green and amazing, so I got that and I pressed it. Um, for those of you who don't know what that, what hum Homomalous Virginiana is, it's, it's the, um, the vernal witch hazel, or no, the common witch hazel. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, I got it from the uh, Vernal Witch Hazel. Um, Homomalous Vernalis. Yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Be glad you don't have to memorize Latin names. But I sound smart, though, don't I? Um, I met today with Bill McKinley, who is, like, the dean of something. I don't know. He does a lot of stuff. So I talked to him today um, about like all these stupid questions that I had about uh, my classes. Like I thought I tested out of math, but I wasn't quite sure, and I did. Got that validated. Um, about English, because I got a perfect score, 40 out of 40, on the placement test for English, which I was told by... Um, the counselor that I spoke with, that that's pretty unheard of for anyone that does not have a bachelor's in English. So, um, I thought I would be able to test out of that, but I guess not. So, I have to take English 103, um, just like composition, English composition, something like that. And I can take that online, so that's good. Um, I still have to take a speech class, um, which I'm not looking forward to. Not that I really have a problem speaking in front of people, I just don't, I don't like, I don't like sitting there and giving speeches, I don't like organizing them. So, I have to do that, and, um, oh, kind of ranted off in a different subject. Okay, so we, we got done with one. One was done. Two, I have to do... I have to do um, a report on this impatience hybridizing that I was supposed to be doing. Not Well, impatience breeding, I guess. I'm not hybridizing or anything. And the results were really odd because impatience, just so you know, show lack of dominance, which means that a red and a white mixed together make pink. It's like mixing colors on a palette, except you've got genetics in there. So there are all these different traits that can go along with it, like, I crossed, um, 
I don't remember what I crossed, but um, there was only one pink one with mottled leaves. Like, I was supposed to note the color and the leaf modeling. Some of them just have plain green leaves, no modeling. And then the others show, like, these um, red models at the bottom of the leaf. And so I was supposed to note that. And it was kind of a freak. I don't know. Maybe it's a mutation or something. But I have to write a report on that. That, I don't think, will be too incredibly difficult, but I need to get my ass on that because my impatience are starting to flower, and I really need to get on that. We have two weeks left in the semester. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Two weeks left in the semester. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, so, uh, third. There was a third one. Oh, not so big, but I have an impatience project that I or not the impatience, uh, IPM, Integrated Pest Management. Most boring shit ever, for real. Like, you just sit there and count bugs on a sticky card and then note the statistics of them. Like, that's so fucking boring. And then I have to create a chart, which luckily I know how to create the chart in, um, in Excel or Word, whatever. I'll create it somehow, and that won't be that hard. But, um... And then I also have, for orientation to horticultural occupations, I have to do this, like, stupid, um, I'm still not caught up with my summaries. Like, we have different guest speakers, um, that tell us about different occupations in the horticulture industry. And it's pretty interesting, but I have to write these half-page summaries, and surprise, surprisingly enough, I'm a lazy ass and can't write fucking half page um, right after we have visitors so I have to finish those up I have like five done so far almost I have four complete and a fifth one in the works and so I have to finish those and turn those in and I was supposed to interview a professional in the horticulture industry um, preferably someone related someone that has a job related to my field of landscape design but I couldn't do that um, so I just asked, um, BJ Miller, who's married to Brooke Miller, um, who I work with, and she said that it'd be just fine, I can interview her tomorrow, so I gotta come up with questions for her, and then I gotta do the whole report thing, because we have four reports, total of four reports, and, um, eight summaries, plus, um, whatever else we did in the semester that is due in a notebook. So like three or four things that I have to do. IPM is minimal because I think I only have to do the graph. I don't really have to do any report on that or anything. Um, but yeah, lots of end of the semester stuff and it's fun, 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 fun. Oh, and I also complained about Dana Covey, my greenhouse management teacher who she's a nice woman I have to say and I feel bad for her because she has her own shit going on just like everyone else but what she doesn't realize is that she's a teacher and when she says something she's saying it to 24 different people and when she changes her mind at the last minute it affects 24 different people's lives like the fact that we were supposed to go on this field trip to a greenhouse in Elburn 25 miles away from the campus and more than half the people in that class had a trees lab to show up to in Rochelle, which was 10 miles in the opposite direction, um, within 20 minutes of the end of the greenhouse lab. So, at, when gas is like, you know, 350 a gallon, you can't ask people to go 50 miles out of their way. It's just not polite and you gotta give people a map. If you expect people to be there, you expect, you should give them a map. I mean, it's not much to ask. For real. Oh my god. I'm just, like, wired. I only had one cup of coffee and I'm already fucking wired as hell. Isn't that crazy? I need to breathe. Oh, I hung out with Snow last night and it was pretty amazing and we caught up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm so glad that I have snow back in my life now, or I hope I do, because I don't know. But I hope that goes well. Anyway, bye.